Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the United States Naval War College graduation ceremony for the Naval War College Fleet Seminar Program and the Graduate Degree Program classes of 2021 and the Naval Command and Staff Online Program Spring Quarter Class of 2021. My name is Professor Walt Wildeman, and I am the Dean of the Naval War College's College of Distance Education, the college under which those three distance education programs are administered and taught. And I am the MC for today's proceedings. As you all well know, this and last year's virtual graduations were necessitated by the pandemic protocols we've endured over the last 14 months or so. However, for many things in life, people are now discovering that those emergency measures actually opened their eyes to perhaps better, and I'd certainly say more inclusive ways of doing things. Our virtual graduations most definitely fall into that category. And I foresee a future in which we will continue to conduct virtual graduations for all of our distance education programs in the name of inclusion and celebration for all our students in a timely and professional manner. I mean, after all, if the Naval War College cannot put on a good virtual ceremony, especially in CDE, who can? Therefore, today, we will recognize the graduates with this virtual ceremony in which everyone is encouraged to use the chat feature and the clapping hand icon to congratulate the graduates throughout the ceremony. And as a final note, I'd ask the graduates to let your professors and program managers know what you think about the ceremony as we welcome your suggestions on any way in which we might improve upon it for future classes. Thank you. And now, please rise or virtually rise for the playing and singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, now my honor and privilege to introduce Rear Admiral Shoshana S. Chatfield, 57th President of the United States Naval War College. Admiral Chatfield. Thank you, Dean Wildeman. It is my distinct honor to welcome our distinguished guests who are watching online, and I want to welcome each one of you for joining us today. I know that as we open, your travels may bring you to Newport and we hope to be able to welcome you back to Newport one day soon. To our Naval War College Foundation and their Chief Executive Officer, Mr. George Lang, the Foundation staff and the very community-minded Foundation members, thank you for your generous gifts this year. 
They have provided critical funding that has enriched and enhanced the programs and initiatives that are offered by this college. Dean Wildeman and Professor Sexton, Ord, and Kelly, the very busy managers of our three educational programs, thank you for inviting me and hosting this event online today. And thank you for creating and executing these programs along with the College of Distance Education's fantastic mission support team. Well done. To our interim provost, Dr. Jay Hickey, who is online with us today, to our deans, and to our outstanding faculty and staff of this college, you have set the bar high and you have equipped these graduates to be today's decision makers and tomorrow's leaders. Today, you get to see the fruits of your labor as these graduates will continue in their assigned or perhaps new postings with their newly acquired knowledge and the perspectives that you have exposed them to as advocates of peace and security across the globe and who are prepared to develop our advantage at sea. To the hardworking families and loved ones of today's graduates, your love and support, your patience and your endurance is what enables these students to protect and serve our great nation. Thank you so much for your support. Through it all, including COVID, and for everything that you continue to do, the sacrifices you make for our country and your fellow citizens. And now to the graduates of the Naval Command and Staff Online Program, the Fleet Seminar Program, and the Graduate Degree Program. I wanna take this time to recognize the incredible amount of effort that you put forth in order to earn these diplomas and certificates. Your dedicated hours, countless hours, in the evenings and on weekends, sometimes during the day, to read, to understand, to thoughtfully reflect, and to crank out those papers, and to share your insights with others. The investment that you have chosen to make in your own careers, your own personal and professional development, is admirable. You sacrificed a great deal in your personal lives to improve yourself and to provide that improvement to your organizations. And that is going to help our military readiness and help our success in the future. During this course of study, you've been committed to education. It is now your opportunity to leverage the knowledge that you've received and to return to your dynamic security environment and create that warfighting advantage. You have a new set of freshly honed tools, sharpened to be able to anticipate and prepare for the future. Your new skill set is capable of preserving this piece and, if necessary, pre preparing for and preventing the next war. We may need your dedicated efforts in planning and understanding the environment to create the advantages we will need to prevail in conflict. It's gonna take all of your unique ideas, that critical thinking that we talked about, the way that you now frame problems or may learn to frame problems as you go back and incorporate your ideas and meet up with others who are also graduates of this program. And I know that together you'll do that planning so that we can be successful. I want to stress that we will succeed together. We know from our tri-service maritime strategy that our naval services leadership believes that we must integrate across our joint force and with our allies and partners. This is extremely important and essential for our mission success, approaching it together. The United States is a maritime nation. Our security and prosperity depend on stabilities on the sea. The world is now changing at a very rapid pace and there is no time for stagnation or stovepipes. Our former Secretary of the Navy, Kenneth Braithwaite, Braithwaite stated, 
our rules-based international order is once again under assault. We must prepare as a unified naval service to ensure that we are equal to the challenge. Those maritime service chiefs have committed now to working together. And as they've told us, to build, lead, and advance a rules-based international system through shared commitments with our allies and partners. Graduates, you're being asked to synchronize your capabilities and capacities while building a stronger worldwide network of strong maritime partnerships, enduring partnerships with those friends who are united with us in a common purpose and develop with them a relentless drive to anticipate, think creatively, and lead through all the changes that are yet to come. Your careers have been filled with unpredictability and tumultuous change. This year has been an example of that. We have seen a growing awareness of social justice and equal treatment under the law. Within the Navy, we have undertaken and completed a review of our diversity, equity, and inclusion through Task Force One Navy. And we have responded to all of the challenges presented by the COVID global pandemic. This is a very dynamic reality that our senior leaders see as an opportunity to incorporate continuous learning. That learning is a key strategic enabler. The success of our fighting forces, the success of our interagency, and the success of our international partners depend on it. This investment into your education is a direct investment into gaining more fighting advantages. Our soldiers, Marines, sailors, airmen, guardians, coast guardsmen, and federal service civilians are our most important war fighting assets. Every one of our team members brings a different and special contribution to the fight. Cultivating a high performing and innovative workforce built on the foundations of diversity and inclusion starts at the top. And it will be carried out by you, our frontline leaders. Please set the example, hold the standards high amongst the ranks. In order to create a top warfighting performance, you're going to need to tap into their energy and capabilities, valuing and integrating individual perspectives, ideas, and contributions. This type of inclusive leadership will cast new light on challenges and obstacles and enable interagency teams and our joint force to maximize their potential. My charge to you, as you continue in your operational and support positions throughout the world, is to pack this education, experiences, and relationships that you've made in these classrooms into your sea bags, and to remember to think differently. Utilize the new tools to analyze how we fight, frame problems, develop and assess solutions, and build winning teams. Your time learning with us is only a small slice in the continuum of learning that will take place throughout your career. You must continue investing energy into your personal and professional development for yourself and for those you lead. Please do not sit comfortably within your area of expertise. Press to the edges and seek opportunities to run into, collide if necessary, with others whose specialties and viewpoints differ from yours. That is where innovation starts, and that is the key to our future success. Take the knowledge and the as a new lens through which to develop the challenges you will inevitably face in the future. You are duty bound to take this exposure, your improved analytical skills, this expanded perspective that you've gained by your own dedication and investment to lead well. And finally, you are now members of the United States Naval War College Alumni Association. 
dates back nearly 100. It will be built on a diverse it will be built on a diverse perspective, enhanced through interoperability, and strengthened through your intellectual capability. Together, with your feedback, we'll continue to push the bar higher here at the United States Naval War College to fulfill our mission to deliver excellence in education, excellence in research, and excellence in outreach. And once again, to all our family and friends, I want to extend my personal thanks for being the pillar of your graduate strength, for taking the time to be here virtually, to share in this momentous occasion. To our graduates, bravo Zulu, congratulations. It's a job well done and we are so proud of you. Rear Admiral Chatfield, I now have the honor to present the United States Naval War College's Fleet Seminar Program, Naval Command and Staff Online Program, and the Graduate Degree Program Class of 2021. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Congress of the United States, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and the New England Commission on Higher Education, I confer upon the graduates of the Fleet Seminar Program and the Naval Command and Staff Online Program, the Naval War College, College of Naval Command and Staff Diploma, and Joint Professional Military Education Phase One Certificate with all of the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. And for the graduates of the Graduate Degree Program, I confer upon you the Naval War College Master of Arts in Defense and Strategic Studies degree with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto.
Ladies and gentlemen, please continue to join me in saluting in the chat room or with the clapping hands icon or just raised fist bumps and cheers the graduates of the United States Naval War College class of 2021 and their families. Congratulations, graduates. You should all be rightfully proud of your accomplishments. We now have a special guest who would like to address the graduates. Greetings from the Pentagon. I'm Vice Admiral Jeff Hughes, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfighting Development, better known as OPNAV N7. This new directorate is designed to deliver strategic and operational advantage to our Navy, the Joint Force, and the interagency, in part by further developing professionals like you as we prepare for and navigate the national security challenges of the 21st century. Congratulations on your graduation. You should all be very proud of everything you've achieved, and I hope you're excited and ready to apply and build upon what you've learned during the course of this program. As a fellow graduate of the Naval War College Distance Education Program, I know how hard it is to complete these academics while working full time and balancing all of the other aspects of your life. Thank you for making this effort. You and our collective team will be better and stronger because of it. Over the past year, you've devoted your time and scholarship to think, study, and reflect on your role as warfighters, military officers, and national security professionals. You serve at a consequential time in our history as we are in great power competition. Your operational expertise, critical thinking skills, creativity, and innovation will be put to the test, and your contribution will be necessary to ensure we retain our warfighting and national security advantages. As this chapter of learning comes to an end, let me leave you with a thought. Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, and I'm paraphrasing, every now and then a person's mind is stretched by new ideas and never shrinks back to its former dimension. I hope the Naval War College has indeed stretched your mind and you continue to take the time to read, study, and build on what you've learned. You are now keepers of the intellectual capital that will enable our ability to meet our no-fail national security mission. Again, congratulations on achieving this important milestone in your professional development. I wish you, your families, and those in your support networks all the best in the future and hope to see you in the fleet. It is now my honor and privilege to present the McGinnis Family Award for Outstanding Performance in Fleet Seminar Education <clears throat> to Lieutenant Commander Joseph P. Horton, Judge Advocate General Corps, United States Navy, who is assigned as the attorney for the Joint Interagency Task Force known as GIATIF West in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander Horton. And my additional honor and privilege to present the Vice Admiral John T. Hayward Award for outstanding performance in online distance education to Lieutenant Just Justin K. Chalk, USN, now assigned as a political and science instructor at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Congratulations, Lieutenant Chuck. <clears throat> and now I would like to introduce Professor Julia Gage, the Naval War College Director of Alumni Programs. Julia. Well, thank you all. Thank you, Walt. Uh, congratulations, graduates. I am monitoring the chat here, and I'm gonna go out on a limb, not having any actual detailed information, that if you're tuning in, most likely you have graduated, and we will find a way to make sure that if your name is not on the scroll that happened, we will um, fix that. You can take screenshots, and my apologies, I don't know the answer, but what I'm about to say is I'm not excluding any of you from my remarks because you all are now part of our large, robust alumni community. And so congratulations again. Um, we know that this has been a challenging year for everyone. This is a year we will never forget, but this is definitely an education you will always remember. And so all on behalf of all of our 50,000 alumni, 
Welcome, welcome to our continuing education, professional development, lifelong learning organization. We have so many people ready to, to learn and to help and learn from you. And so what I really ask you to do is sign up at myusnwc.com. That's your one-stop shop portal for invitations to events. We actually will start getting out and seeing all of you again very, very soon. Um, we do have many uh, professors and uh, we'll come and do you know, two or three day symposia or just lunchtime lectures um, of topics of interest. Uh, of course, all of our video lectures that go on at the college as well are posted on our portal. Um, articles, there's plenty of reading. I saw someone there, uh, thought there might be some homework and I'm surprised you didn't do it for this uh, graduation. Uh, but again, uh, I think I've just promised you all that you've graduated. And so um, I certainly welcome you to continue to learn with us, to tune in to myusnwc.com. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and continuing to grow with you. So congratulations. Thank you, Julia. We in the College of Distance Education are very happy that we're able to add a record number of 1,665 more graduates to your alumni database this year. That is a record we're very proud of. And believe me, we're gonna try and break it again next year. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Best wishes for a nice day and a celebratory summer weekend ahead. Thank you for attending. Thank you.